back to my channel. I'm Charlene Clemson, mommy to four boys, wife to Tom. And today I am bringing you our two week food haul from Aldi. We're still in lockdown in the UK. So Tom actually goes every two weeks to do our food haul. And I plan it out beforehand and I've done a two week meal plan which i'm going to share with you towards the end of the video as well so stick around to see that if you do like these kinds of videos then please do hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel there's going to be much more of these to come um over the next two weeks we will probably have to pop out and grab some more milk bread and possibly fresh fruit just to keep us topped up with that but we usually do that if we go out on our family walk one of us will go into our local corner shop and just pick up the essentials that we need from there so we're just doing that one outing in the day but without further ado, I'll show you what we've got. Start with the frozen stuff. So this is all the frozen bits so that I can get it put away. We've got a bag of frozen mixed vegetables, a bag of garden peas, two bags of the Irish frozen sausages. You get 16 in there and the boys love them. So they're great just to have in the freezer. And I use those to make my toad in the hole as well. Then a bag of the frozen smoothie mix. This is the exotic one. It's really nice for in smoothies or just to defrost and snack on. There's a bag of frozen roast potatoes because they're the only sort the boys will eat. Some french fries and some steak cut chips. A bag of cauliflower cheese. Some Yorkshire puddings. There's a bag there of frozen chicken breast fillets. Some chicken nuggets. A pack of the chicken breast steaks in batter there for the boys chicken wraps and then some pizzas for when we have pizza party night so that's all of the frozen stuff there this is everything else that we've got and i'll start here we've got little fromage fry pots for the boys there's two lots of those some mature white cheddar a big tub of butter some of this italian cheese that i use in my carbonara then I've got some of these garlic breads. They are literally just the cheapest chips garlic breads, but the boys really like them. So it's four of those, and we'll have those with some pasta meals. Then these sort of snacky bits are for lunchtime. So there's some of these German meatballs, two packs of Asda's, uh, sorry, Aldi's version of pepperamis. They're called Meatsters. There's two packs of those, two packs of ham, and then down here there's some sausage rolls as well. Then there's a tub of sour cream because I'm going to be making a chilli this week. So there's a tub of sour cream there. Then there's four tins of chopped tomatoes because our cupboards are running down now. So I just needed some chopped tomatoes. These sliced carrots, we worked out at the weekend that carrots are literally the only vegetable we can get Zach to eat. So he loves these tinned carrots. So we've got some of those to put on basically every meal that he eats. And then the boys love these. Now, I know these are not the best thing in the world, but they absolutely love them. And they're just these little sandwich fillers. So we've got two salmon paste, two chicken paste, and two beef paste. Then for meat, we've got two big packs of minced beef. So I will split those up to make lots of different meals with those. There's a pack of bacon. A gammon joint. Again, that'll make two meals. A beef joint. That'll make two different meals for all the family and then we've got the fruit and veg so i've got some seedless grapes two packs of apples two packs of bananas some baby spinach that's to go into the smoothies and things like that some mushrooms for the pasta meals some baking potatoes some normal potatoes and then over the back a bit more store cupboard stuff we've got some gravy granules two lots of this smooth tomato sauce because i use that kind of like a base then four pack of beans some eggs and a jar of pesto some double strength orange juice and then some of the high juice summer fruits that's mine and tom's pizza behind there they're absolutely delicious these pizzas we have these on our friday night pizza party night they're really really tasty then there's some crisps at the back there there's a meaty feast pack of 30 and some prawn cocktail my coffee ran out this morning so i'm so happy to see that then there's two uh, jars plastic jar things of hot chocolate because the boys do like hot chocolate of an evening a thing of custard some Nutoka, which is like Aldi's version of Nutella. It's really good. Some Choco Hoops, because we've got muesli, we've got Weetabix, we've got porridge in the cupboards, but the boys do like Choco Hoops 
every now and again just as a bit of a treat in the mornings some joy mix which is basically for bribery and then some chocolate chip cookies bourbon creams and some custard creams so that's all of that and then i'll just take you over here and over here i've got two loaves of white bread a pack of nappies they're just pull-ups that zach wears of an evening then three big six pinters of milk three packs of bagels i'll probably put one of those in the freezer the boys just love bagels at lunchtime and then two packs of the white tortillas again they'll be for lunches and also for a meal for one of the nights as well i'm doing burritos for me and tom and then the boys will have like southern fried chicken wraps on that night because they don't like chili so that is for that Okay, so I thought I'd just quickly go through the meal plan for the next two weeks with you. So this is the one that sits on the fridge. Today is Monday, so tonight we're going to be having chicken salad with baked potatoes and some different toppings like cheese, beans, whatever the boys want really on their baked potatoes. Then tomorrow I'm making homemade gnocchi um, with a bacon and tomato sauce and we'll have garlic bread with that. Then on Wednesday I'll make a big batch of my slow cooker chilli and I will make burritos for me and Tom and the boys will have their chicken wraps for Wednesday night's dinner. Then Thursday, it's actually a bank holiday on Friday so we're switching pizza party Friday night to pizza party Thursday night. Then on Friday we are going to have a pasta bake, again with garlic bread. Then on Saturday, I make a Chinese chicken curry for me and Tom, but it's a little bit too spicy for some of the boys. So the boys that don't have the curry, they will have chicken nuggets with vegetable rice. I make like a vegetable fried rice for them, which they like. Then on Sunday, don't mind Zach, slamming into the door. Then on Sunday, we're going to have a beef dinner. Then on Monday, with the leftover beef from the beef dinner, I will make a beef hot pot. Then on Tuesday, I'm actually going to do a gammon joint, the gammon joint that I showed you, in the slow cooker. That will do carbonara with that gammon joint on the Tuesday night, and we'll have that again with garlic bread. And then on the Wednesday, the boys are going to have baked potatoes. We will have the rest of the chilli that I'm going to make for the burritos, because that will have been popped in the freezer. Then on the Thursday, I've actually got a tin of corned beef in the cupboard, so I'm going to make corned beef hash and beans. Then on Friday, it will be ham, egg and chips using the gammon. And on Saturday, the following week, it will be lasagna and garlic bread, which again will be from this night. I'll make a big batch of my slow cooker, like bolognese sauce, and that will serve then the two meals across the two weeks. And then on the Sunday, I will do toad in the hole with some of those frozen sausages. So that's how I make it spread across the two weeks with everything that we have purchased okay guys i hope you enjoyed that the overall cost of the entire shop was 111 pound now if you remember that is for six of us across the two weeks which i just think is brilliant that means it's like just over 50 pound a week for us and it did include those pull-ups as well for zachary and like i said we probably will have to pop out and grab some more milk bread and possibly fruit as well because i do like the boys to be able to have fresh fruit every day but if you enjoyed this video then do stick around i am going to be doing a what we eat in a week video and also some recipe videos as well just showing you how i do things like my chili in the slow cooker and that kind of thing so if you'd like to see those then do stick around and take care of yourself stay safe and i'll see you on the next one bye guys